From the worst season in school history to seven wins a year ago, Notre Dame certainly showed improvement, but only one of those victories was over a team with a winning record, that being Navy. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's our college football conference previews presented by Best Buy. This is not about the teams in conferences, but the three that aren't the independents, Notre Dame, Navy, and Army. Let's bring in CBS Sports college football analyst Spencer Tillman to break this down. And Spence, uh, we start with Notre Dame because they're going to get the headlines. When you look at the Fighting Irish, what should we expect this year? Well, a lot of pressure is going to be on the Fighting Irish. This is the payoff year for Jimmy Clausen and, of course, his head coach, Charlie Weiss. They've got to make it happen. I mean, Clausen, it came in with a lot of excitement, pomp, and circumstance, but he has underperformed. Charlie Weiss, clearly. Now, let's go back a few years ago. He was one of the darlings of the NFL. as the great up-and-coming offensive coordinator. It's his alma mater. You couldn't have created a better scenario for him to come in and have success, and they've laid an egg, essentially. When you're to the point where you're having the leverage of victory over Hawaii, a Hawaii team that was depleted, Head coach June Jones now at SMU. When you're celebrating that, you're in, a, in dire straits. Yes, they did break a nine-year slide in terms of postseason victories uh, in bowl games, but that's not enough to satisfy the, the Domers. Yeah, that Hawaii Bowl a victory offense did look very impressive, but as you have told me and you have said before, it was against that Hawaii defense that didn't have the players from the year before. But you mentioned Jimmy Claus and this being the payoff year. This is his junior season. Where should we expect to see him? Because he looked great in that bowl game. Yeah, he did, again, but you have to go back who he looked great against. It was a, against a, a secondary that was new for the first year. Hawaii was starting three freshmen in that last game. So when you look at that, you can't come away with a lot of confidence. When you start to unpack who they were playing, man, I'm not confident that uh, Jimmy Clausen is the guy that can go in and, and face the likes of USC at the end of the year and come away with the victory uh, like he did against Hawaii. So I, I think what he has to do is be more efficient, take care of the football, reduce the number of interceptions, look more confident in the pocket. His throwing motion looks a lot better, but you would, you would think that they'd have that ironed out by year three right now. So I think along with Charlie Weiss, I know Ron Paulus is the coach, I mean the uh, coach of the quarterbacks over there at Notre Dame, but, you know, he too himself didn't reach his full potential, so it kind of makes you scratch your head to think you're going to get any better performance out of uh, Jimmy Clausen. What about the defense, Spence? Uh, you love John Tenuta. You absolutely raved yeah. about him at Georgia Tech. It's his second year at Notre Dame. You still love him? Yeah, I, I love him a lot. I think John Tenuta, again, I thought at the time was the best defensive coordinator, and I still feel that way in terms of his minds and his scheme in all of the nation. When he was at Georgia Tech, Everybody feared playing against his defenses. They were active. A lot of 4 3 weak coming off the weak side strong. Uh, 900 miles an hour, creating turnovers at, at a breakneck pace. But you haven't seen that. So, what that points to, nothing's happened with John Tenuta. He's still intelligent, he's still sharp, got a great football mind. It's the talent level. But Notre Dame has had some of the best recruiting classes over the last uh, four years. So what's the deal? What gives? Well, most of that talent's been on the offensive side of the ball. But John Tenuta has got to get more active on the defensive side of things, have more confidence in his players so he can create turnovers, so they can get the ball back in uh, Jimmy Clausen's hands so he can create some touchdowns. All right, well, we'll see what Notre Dame can do this year, Spence. What about, uh, let's go with Navy here, eh? because this is a team that's six straight winning seasons. Coach uh, Niamh Tololo has certainly uh, continued the ball rolling from Paul Johnson, but eight games this year, Spence, against teams that last year had a winning record. Well, Ricky Dobbs is the guy. You know, he's the quarterback, running back, whatever you want to call him. He's going to do it all. And they're always going to have a couple of runners that are going to get close to 1,000. They had a 1,000-yard rusher last year. Another guy had uh, 895 yards. So they're always going to be able to run the ball. They led the nation in that department. But uh, if they're ever going to be in a situation where they're forced to pass the football, that's where they're going, to be, they're going to be the problems. But I think the defensive unit is solid enough that if they can keep offenses to a relatively low score, uh, when you control the clock the way that they're able to do, you can keep vaunted offensive attacks off the football field and keep the score reasonable, you got a chance to get some upsets. Look, they've been, they've been victorious in recent years, particularly in the postseason play. So he didn't lose the streak. They went to another bowl game for the ninth straight year, I believe. So they're in good stead there. And they open up at Ohio State, maybe one of the uh, toughest opening games in, uh, since the Roger Staubach days. Uh, Spence, real quickly, Army, Rich Ellerson, new head coach. They're coming over from Cal Poly, uh, 12 consecutive losing seasons. What's a, what's a step in the right direction for Army? Well, Army's just got to get back to doing what they do. You know, they're a triple t option attack. You know, they've gone through six head coaches doing that 12-year span that you talked about, and nobody's had more change than Army has in recent years. And they're, they want to keep that, uh, that, that trophy, that commander in chief trophy, to themselves. But it's been a long time since they had a chance to hold it. And I think the Navy's going to probably take it again this year. Jim Calhoun at Air Force has done a pr tremendous job with his program, but I think they slipped a little bit last year as well. So I think that Army's trek back to prominence is going to be a long and laborious and a protracted one. The 
run game is what they do. They can't afford to get behind. Their defense is struggling right now. They've got a lot of new, new players in that defensive unit, uh, but some mature players at the positions that could create turnovers at outside linebacker and inside linebacker, and their secondary is pretty solid. So uh, I think that Army could be competitive, but they won't unseat Navy. All right, we'll see how it all plays out. Spencer T., thank you very much, sir. We can't wait for the football season to get going. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, and to hear more from Spencer Tillman, be sure to check out all the college football conference previews presented by Best Buy right here on CBSSports.com. For Spencer T., I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.